Hello to all. Today we will be discussing about the MCQs based on the skeleton system. The first question is that glenoid cavity is found in. Now, where is the glenoid cavity found? You must know that glenoid cavity is found in the pectoral girdle. We know very well that pectoral girdle is found in the shoulder region. It is found in the shoulder region and that's why the pectoral girdle is also called as the shoulder girdle. Okay, now this glenoid cavity is meant for the attachment of the head of the humerus. Okay, so that here at the pectoral girdle a ball and a socket joint can be formed. So what I want to say that this is a glenoid cavity. Say for this is a glenoid cavity and in this glenoid cavity the head of your humerus. This is the humerus. Okay. So the head of the humerus fixes in this glenoid cavity like this type and because of which the humerus rotates and here a joint is formed and this joint is called as ball and socket joint okay so all together we can say that glenoid cavity is found in the pectoral girdle so the options given are pelvic girdle pelvic girdle is a hip girdle it is present here no it is not found here skull pectoral girdle and the sternum so the correct answer is the pectoral girdle glenoid cavity is associated with the pectoral girdle so the question number one is having the answer c okay now the question number two is joint between the atlas and the axis now what is atlas and axis so in question number two you must know that atlas is the first cervical vertebra okay and axis is the second cervical vertebra we know that we are having here in the neck region we are having the cervical vertebras so out of the seven cervical vertebras the first one is known as the atlas and the second one is known as the axis and here the question is that the joint found between the atlas and the axis so the joint which is found between the atlas and the axis is the pivot joint and because of this pivot joint we are able to shake our skull region or the head region okay so the joint between atlas and axis is pivot joint sender joint angular joint and hinge joint different types of the joints are given but we are able to move our skull region and the neck with the help of a joint and that joint is called as the pivot joint. So the question number two is having the answer pivot joint that is the A, I am marking here A. The third joint, elbow joint is an example of. Now as the name is indicating, elbow joint is found in the elbow region. This is the elbow region and you must know that in the elbow region the movement can be done at an angle of 180 degrees. Okay. Now 180 degrees is like this type, see here, this is 180 degrees. Now I can move my hand like this thing, but I cannot move my hand like this thing. This is not possible. So the elbow joint is working at an angle of 180 degree and this is just like a hinge. You know what is hinge? Hinge is actually found at our doors. Door can be opened in 180 degrees, means at one side, but door can be cannot be opened in both the sides. Okay. So, we can say elbow joint is an example of an hinge joint which is actually moving at an angle of how many degrees? 180 degrees. So the elbow joint is an example of hinge joint. Question number 3 is having the answer C. Now the fourth question is a cup shaped cavity for articulation of femur head. Now what is articulation? Movement. Okay. Now it is asked for the femur. Now, as we have seen in the question number one, that the head of the humerus was fixed in the glenoid cavity of the pectoral girdle to form a wall and socket joint. 
in the same way in the same way in the pelvic girdle in the pelvic girdle which is the hip girdle there is found the cavity and that cavity is called as the acetabulum cavity and in the acetabulum cavity see here this is the question number 4 this is the acetabulum cavity see for if this is the acetabulum cavity and in this acetabulum cavity the head of head of femur is fixed and we know very well that femur is the longest bone of the body and it is found in the thigh region okay so a cup shaped cavity for articulation of the femur head so for the movement of the femur head a cavity is formed in the hip girdle or the pelvic girdle and that cavity is called as the acetabulum so the question number 1 4 is having the answer acetabulum that is answer number a okay now the question number 5 is friction is lessened in ball and socket joint by means the question is that in ball and socket joint in ball and socket joint the friction is very much less the friction is very much less and the question arises that, that why the friction is less in the ball and socket joint that the synovial fluid is found at the ball and socket joint synovial joint synovial fluid is found at the ball and socket joint pericardial fluid is found or mucin is found so we know very well that ball and socket joint is a perfect movable joint right and the perfect movable joints are also called as the synovial joints now the perfect movable joints are called as the synovial joints why because the synovial joints are containing a fluid and that fluid is called as the synovial fluid and we must know that wherever the synovial fluid is present the synovial fluid is lessening the impact of the friction or the friction is reduced with the help of the synovial fluid so all the perfect joints or the synovial joints contain the synovial fluid which reduces the friction so i can say that friction is lessened in ball and socket joint by the help of the synovial fluid so the question number 5 is having the answer b synovial fluid okay so and uh, these questions were based on the circuit that is known as the skeleton system okay i hope so you have enjoyed the video uh, we will be coming soon with a few more videos thanks a lot for watching me uh, if you want to take the screenshot of this video you can take thanks a lot